everyone, back again for Movie Monday. Hands up who you might have got a little bit windburnt over the weekend. We had a fabulous trip away, but back now and back into it. So I've shown you so many cards in the past, uh, full-size cards, um, and how to make those, but I haven't really shown you how to make the minis. So let's just say that you want to give someone, let's say a bottle of wine, and you don't want to give a full-size card. Perhaps you don't want, Lines. Sorry. Perhaps you just want to give them a little card, just to write a tiny little message. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make those. Here we go. So this is your standard A5 sheet that you fold into a card normally. Okay. Instead, what we want to do for a mini is cut down the center of your card, making it A6. And you want to get your A6 and fold that in half to create a mini. Uh, for the face of the card, again, I cut my faces for my standard cards to slightly smaller than A6 to give a border like I've done here. So again, it's just cut that in half. Simple, right? Okay, so today, just showing you a really simple, pretty, leafy card. I love it on this craft background. So uh, I've got some little die cut leaves here. Just in a, I've got a mint, a sort of emerald and a darker green. Uh, and we're just going to tie these into a little bunch. And I make a card with a little bunch on it already. So I think it translates well to the mini size. So just gather these together. A little trick with this is if they're not sitting properly, is just whack a little bit of runner tape on the back, which hardly puts any glue down, but it will just assist in holding it together while you get it into the right position. And again, for this one, just up the top here. I find that really handy. So there we go. I've got now my little sprig. And just tie around the top a nice little bit of twine. Another little trick I do with twine is if you find twine that's just too thick, you can buy these um, rolls of hessian. It's only about a couple of inches wide. And I just pull them apart to give myself this really thin twine. It's a bit softer, a bit easier to use. So we're just tying this in a bow. Make our loops a little smaller. Cut off your length. Something like that. And then we'll pop that on the card at the top here. And for that we'll just use glue. So, I like to not glue, oh, I just fixed this glue, I like to not stick down the whole thing, I like to just do the top, make sure you do it above the bow as well, just so it captures it and it doesn't fall off. So, you know, sort of about halfway down, maybe a third, oh my god, he's not working, uh, and that way you get some lovely lift at the bottom of the leaves. And I'll just pop that on there. Yeah, you just get a nice little lift without having to use any more, you know, sticky squares or anything like that. And it just makes it a bit more, it's got a bit, a bit more dimension. Okay, and I'm turning this into a thank you card. So over here, I've just got a little thank you. As you can see, I'm just going to tuck this down here. And as you can see, that will pair really nicely with just a tiny little thank you gesture for someone. Thanks, everyone.